typical rule of thumb is for every mouse you see, there's 15 or 20 others. And uh, mice reproduce every 21 days, uh, or have the capability of reproducing every 21 days. So obviously, one mouse can result in a large infestation fairly quickly if you don't get this problem taken care of and get a hold of. But, uh, you know, trapping one mouse is not going to solve the problem. There's a lot more uh, that are in the home. And uh, until you find the entry point and exclude them from getting back in, it's going to be an ongoing problem. Uh, trapping is basically what? A stop stopgap measure, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, that's right. A typical female mouse can produce up to 50 offspring in a year. So given that rate of uh, population growth, putting a single trap out is not going to be the solution. The other big problem with traps is that a lot of times you're not actually going to catch the mouse. You're going to startle the mouse. You're going to have a, a tripped trap, which is going to go off, but not actually catch anything. And all you've done is cause that mouse to be now trap shy and difficult to catch. One of the other problems with traps is a lot of times you will catch the mouse by the tail or by the leg and not actually kill it. So you could do physical damage to the mouse, which is inhumane, but more importantly, that, mice, that mouse might escape the trap and then later die inside the wall. So, you know, all your efforts to remove the mouse, to prevent damage, to prevent odor, um, could result in, in more damage and more odor because of a dead mouse in the wall. A uh, dead mouse in the wall is going to attract flies and, and other bugs, uh, which could later infest the rest of the home.